Okay, so I figured I'd show you what I'm working with now. Before we go to Malwart, I mean Walmart, to get supplies. I got some prayer cards for the haunted asylum. Prayer cards, prayers I'm going to try to say. I got some holy water. I need to get more. I'm going to douse my whole body in holy water. My naked body, except... Looks like there's a ghost in there right now. Douse my whole body in holy water, except for my penis. I think that would just be weird. You know, that would just be weird. I got some uh, salt. Salt the purifier. So, if, I mean, the ghosts, you can make a salt circle, protect yourself from the ghosts. But we want to interact and try to heal the lost souls. Another word for ghost. See, the ghost is in between worlds. Human world, spirit world, ghosts. The ghosts are a doorway. One ghost, the tiny doorway, are hundreds of ghosts. Magnetized to a psychic conduit. Alone at night, trapped in a building. Huge doorway, invoke, meet an archangel, possibly Michael. This is what I'm going to try to do. So this is schizophrenia, as psychologists and psychiatrists would say in the doctor field, the doctorate field, they would say this is schizophrenia at its most extreme. But I'm going to try to prove not, try to get some photos of ghosts. Hope to get a ghost on video. I got to worry about ghosts breaking the camera. The, if I'm friendly with them and going to guide them to the light, they're going to be so hostile because these psych hospitals that have been open for hundred years or something from the 1800s and 1900s rape murder torture these ghosts are hostile they have every reason to be dealt the biggest injustice of being a human being that violation of our soul and then the building closes teenagers gangs and stuff go there and desecrate the land and spray paint these ghosts are gonna be angry so that's why this video says if I don't make it back from the asylum. I don't think too much I gotta worry about people because I think people will be, you know, like a spider's more afraid of you than you are of it. If people see me in there, plus I got, shh, wait, not this, I got this wooden blood cross, but I got this for protection, but I'm not, I'm not gonna buy a Swiss Army knife. We're gonna go to Walmart in a couple minutes. But I'm thinking maybe I should just, just shouldn't bring a knife because if I do get arrested, this will be an extra charge. <laughs> but I don't want to be walking around the asylum like this the whole time. I want to be able to put my guard down, focus on the lost souls and saying prayers and stuff. I don't want to be walking around like this the whole time with the hammer and the, the little martial arts stance ready to throw down. I'll just bring this. Hopefully I can maybe put it in a little check there. I got some holsters. I'm gonna get we're gonna get gloves, we're gonna get night vision, I'm gonna get some extra batteries. This is what I got so far. I know I gotta get some extra extra flashlights, gonna get headgear flashlight, night vision goggles, chemical mask, asbestos, all that stuff. I'm gonna wear the crown. You'll understand why the crown is so important when the video is done. I'm attempting, instead of working my way up, going to a place where maybe there's one ghost, maybe it's a cemetery, Mary's grave in Huntington, a bridge. I'm attempting to jump the line in one video and defeat every single ghost hunter, paranormal investigator on the entire planet in one swoop. Dangerous. Dangerous. So, let's go. I also wanted to say I got boots. I'm wearing double clothing. I might wear these things, I, I don't know. But I wanted to get you, I say that because I wanted to get your opinion about, I came up with the best survival things I could be. And I have a new connection on YouTube, Yankee, aka 22, that's a survival expert, my question would be, how do you purify water? 
like rainwater or whatever water, ocean water. If anything goes down, zombie apocalypse or uh, martial law, World War Three. My plan was because I got to take care of my mom, right? My my creative idea was go up, follow the coastline up through Canada. You got water, all those rich areas, right? Those houses on the beach. Those people won't even be prepared. Every, I think everyone would most likely go inward if there was some you know, sort of huge crisis. They would go inland, World War Three, whatever, government stuff, whatever happens. I even heard some people, when we're talking about this topic, they said they would go south of the border. South of the border is already a war zone. Follow the coastline with my mom, become a hunter. This is stuff I need to know. In case anything ever really goes down, live off the land. You ever see that wolf movie with that guy? The plane goes down and they have shelter with the plane. They leave the plane and it's about wolves. They, the plane goes down and then they have to, they, there's a wolf pack. I'm thinking wolf is food. They should have bunkered down. Shout out to my boy Mikey, hunker down, bunker down. Man up, get your balls out of your throat, as he would say, so I give him a shout out. Road down bipolar, so we don't get mad at me, I gave him a shout out. And he would say, bunker down. They should have stayed, used the, used the plane as shelter. Started cook, cooking those wolves, boy, make a spear. God, uh, if I was hungry, I, wolf meat sounds good. That sounds like beef jerky right there. So that's my question about that. All right, over and out. Yo, look at this freaking thing for seven bucks. <laughs> I wish I, if I could go there with this, I don't want to get caught by authorities with this. That wouldn't be good. Gloves are too expensive. I'll use what I got at home. A cooler might cost too much money. It's where I'm at, in the hunting section. Old Walmart. Nine bucks, three, three flashlights because the ghosts are known to break flashlights. I seen a video where the people went downstairs at this place, the flashlight exploded. Which brings me to the point, five bucks, headgear flashlight. Don't want the flashlight exploding on my head, so I'm not going to go downstairs with the headgear flashlight. Five bucks, saving a lot of money, man. I thought the headgear flashlight would be like 30 bucks, five bucks. Not planning on spending the whole night there. Complete the mission, invoke an archangel, get home. I even found, all right, let's check this out. I found these uh, candles, Sacred Heart of Jesus. Because uh, you gotta think, there could be wind. It's very cold wherever this goes. So I'm gonna wear double layer clothing. I got Guardian Angel one. I got, so the, in the glass, it could stop if there's a little wind, which I'm not gonna go near the windows because the authorities could see you. You know, <laughs> then they come in there. And that's it. They take your camera from you. You know what I'm saying? Prayer to St. Jude. I got. Wait, we're getting to the, the we're getting to the, the finale. Virgin of Guadalupe. And I found one archangel. One. Which archangel do you think I found? Dun dun dun. Archangel Michael, baby. And this weird. I was looking up Archangel Michael videos, and I came across this weird thing that says. Do you have an M on your palm? Nuts, right? Crazy, right? Do you have an M on your palm? Insane, boy. Insane in the membrane. I don't know, but shout outs to Cognitive Burnout, Our World Shifted. I shouted out Mikey, aka Puck Major Mike. Road Down by Polar, Q&J Entertainment, Yankee, a.k.a. 22, uh, Dead Girl, Superstar we got now, we got Lukey Vlogs, we got Greg and Tyler, Jesse Bell Hill, we got Herman the Great, we got Vito Music, we got, who else do we got, who else do we got, I'm trying to connect with all the vloggers and everything. All right, we gotta go to Wal we gotta go to Home Depot. 
couldn't find the chemical mask or the night vision goggles. We're not going without that. All right. All right. I spent under 30 bucks. Didn't go to Home Depot yet, but I almost forgot a key piece that I don't want to gross anyone out or make anyone afraid or anything. But I forgot I have to bring a knife. Two bucks. There was a nice one with a nice grip, titanium, whatever. For four bucks, I had to go with the stainless steel because I got to save every penny. Spent under 30 bucks, 29 and change. I thought the headgear flashlight alone would be around 30 bucks. So that's I'm doing good on this. I couldn't find the glow sticks or glow in the dark tape. We're going on. But I need the knife. You know why. I'm invoking an archangel when I pass through, cross over to the spiritual dimension. So if I could say this without saying it, there will be blood. If you know what I mean, you need all the elements. You need the salt. You need the holy water. I'm going to have the Bible. I forgot to show that. I got the Bible. I'm going to be carrying in my hand the whole time trying to heal the ghosts. We need the night vision goggles because my theory is so many theories and I'm going to write it out in blogs. But a theory that you might be able to see ghosts with night vision. It might make it easier to see the aura. All right, let's go do this. If I die, my family, I love you all. If I die, my friends at my mental illness community, I love you all. If I die, my friends, my all my YouTube friends, my YouTube community, I love you all. If I die, everyone that I've met throughout my circle of life, that touched my heart and soul, I love you all. The human race, the animal kingdom, the insect kingdom, the plant kingdom, Mother Earth, the universe, Jesus Christ, Mother Mary, all the religions and all the deities and the Buddha, Gautama Buddha, and Muhammad, and, and Hare Krishna and all them, and all the deities and all that stuff. And they say, love your enemies. Satan, I love you. Lucifer, I love you. Planning on coming to kill you, but I love you. Maybe I should X that part out. But, I'm not planning on dying, so don't worry about it. I'm planning on conquering. I'm heading straight for the castle. Doing it. Okay, so I uh, ended up spending 40 bucks. And the night vision goggles are a no-go. 40 bucks instead of 30. Better safe than sorry. Getting with a higher upgrade. This is large. I had to, you know, some of them were kind of open. So I kind of had to, you know, see if the medium fits on my face. The large is way more breathing room. And, you know, just flat to put it out there. I don't have the smallest nose, man. I got to make sure. But it has the, the good. I was worried about that. I don't know has a good feel a good clean feel on it and uh, gotta save the receipt just in case anything goes down I end up in a psych ward or something like the, or if something goes down I'm definitely doing this I want to do this now I need to do this but just save the receipts just in case don't open nothing until the grand the grand premiere and there is a specialty item that I cannot mention. I love a good mystery. I love a good top secret. Building a mystery. Sarah McLaughlin. Shout out. Sarah McLaughlin. Building a mystery. Like a love a good mystery. Won't tell anyone the special the key item. Like the philosopher's stone. A key item. Like the Pandora's box. You need the specialty item for something or the 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 formula, it's like the conduction, the conductive nature, the conduction, the you know, psychic conduit. There needs to be a specialty item. Or it's like a scientist setting up, you know, like like uh, Christopher Lloyd, whatever the character's name in uh, Back to the Future. If there's one piece missing, the main piece... You're, it's not going to cross over. It's not going to go through. I'm not going to break through the dimension. I'm doing it whether I get the night vision goggles or not. But I'm going to still look. So this video is done. That's it. I'm done over and out. 
Bye.